Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and it's gas day today, so I will be having a go at five of the genuinely approachable Sudoku puzzles from the daily Sudoku channel on the Discord server. These are created by Clover Bill Murphy and Philip Newman, one a day. They are fabulous. I do them about a month behind, so I'm running through from October the 20th to the 24th today if I've got that right. Um, and I will read the blurbs, including the rules of all the puzzles in a moment, then attempt them one after the other against the clock. Uh, I do want to mention that we've been streaming Chance of Senar, a fascinating translation game, um, which has been going on on Tuesday evenings so far. Although I hear that's not ideal for our best or our, our most regular moderator, Alex. Um, maybe it'll be Tuesday, maybe it'll be Wednesday next week. Uh, we'll post it up when we know. Um, and, of course, there will be a new patron reward out on the 1st of next month. Still, you can watch Phenomenon by Darth Paradox, solved by Simon on Patreon, if you have the three hours to spare. <laughs> I love that. Um, and what else is going on? We've got our merchandise, which is selling really well, possibly because Christmas is on the horizon and... Uh, as with anybody's merch, it takes a little while to get delivered. So do check that out. Good time to do it. Buy yourself a present, perhaps. Um, and Sven Sudoku Pad is on the links under the video, along with all of our apps, which make another amazing present, especially if you bundle them together. That may be more, more than Santa can manage. Um, right, let's look at the blurbs for these puzzles, which are, um, as usual, going to provide an interesting challenge, although not the stiffest, I guess, is, is how we describe genuinely approachable Sudoku. So, the first one is called Neighbour Sums by Clover. And Clover says, Clover? Clover says, this Neighbour Sums gas features a variant from round five of the 2015 Sudoku Grand Prix written by Serbia. Unrelated, but Mr. Rogers would have liked this one very much if he was still with us. Won't you be my neighbour? Um, that's a reference, I think, and I'm going to make myself look silly if this is wrong, to a film, well, no, to, yes, to a film with Tom Hanks based on a real person, isn't it? I don't know. I haven't seen the film, really should. Don't watch many films. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That means one to nine will go in every row, every column, and every three by three box of the grid, eventually. Um, if two cells are separated by a white circle, the digits in those two cells sum to the value in that circle. So those two cells highlighted add up to five. The dinosaur is a neighborly nimigtumaya. Uh, so there's some very light arithmetic in that one. And then we go to some ghost, same ghost every night by Bill. Hi, I made today's Sudoku, says Bill, on a no good, very bad day in what is, to be fair, a long and sad year. I think I've talked enough about myself on the internet that I don't really want to rehash. And to be honest, wish I could take back, but also don't begrudge myself because it truly is remarkable to hold so much grief that you don't know where to put it. Bill, we, we really feel for you. I mean, that title is painfully evocative. Um, the day turned out okay. Turns out, even with the most desolate emotional states, I can make some pretty okay arrow Sudoku. Today's gas, and the one you'll see from me next time, was my coping mechanism. It's probably on the trickier end for what I like to pose for gas, but I make like 15 puzzles a month for gas for you, so every now and then I can have one for me, especially a small tribute to myself and others who find themselves still standing despite all the bad days. Have some generous hat times. Life's too short not to have a cool hat. We're all still here, and life is beautiful like that. Oh, Bill... I'm so with you. I think we all are. Um, stay strong. And uh, life is beautiful in the end. Do believe it. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, digits along an arrow must sum to the digit in the bulb. So those two add up to nine, etc. The dinosaur is a resolute regaliceratops. And Philip's only puzzle of this set is called Botez Gambit. 
Today's gas is an anti-queen Sudoku. Thanks, Clover. Some trivia about anti-queen. It would have just been called anti-bishop, but the Pope intervened at the 2006 World Sudoku Championship. The 2007 World Championship was held in the Czech Republic. Coincidence? Despite the name, it was Queen Victoria's favourite Sudoku variant. WFM Alexandra Botez famously forgot about this constraint while solving Sudoku on stream, resulting in a loss on time and anti-pawn digits promote to anti-queen when reaching the last at ranks. Right, um, you can ignore everything that has just been said. Here are the rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply and cells separated by a chess queen's move cannot both contain five. Um, equivalently, no diagonal of any length can contain more than one five. So we've got a five here, so none of those cells or those cells can contain five, or indeed those ones or those ones. The diagonal applies, and that's the joke about whether it's anti-queen or anti-bishop. Um, the dinosaur is an anticholinergic Antarctosaurus. And I will just point out that if you do the Queen Sudokus in our chess app, the digit that they are that the rule applies to is nine, not five. There you go. Now, let's have a look at Repeated Neighbours by Clover, who says, I assure you, today's gas isn't a second attempt after Friday's neighbour sums to enforce my preferred spelling of the word neighbour on the rest of the gas team. In today's Repeated Neighbours Sudoku, normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, grey cells have at least one repeated digit among their up to four orthogonally adjacent neighbours. For instance, because row 1, column 4 is grey, there must be a digit that appears two times within this set of digits. OK, so these grey cells have repeating neighbours. Um, interesting. The dinosaur is a prescriptivist pterodactyl. Um, OK, is it important to have the dinosaur's adjective beginning with the same first letter as the dinosaur? or to have the dinosaur's first consonant sound be the same as the first consonant sound in the adjective. I don't know. We move on to Alphabet City by Bill, who says, Thanks to friend of the channel at Miko Kisai, a lot of stats get thrown around. Yes, Miko Kisai keeps stats on my performance and faithfully reports how many hats I've achieved at the end of every video. Um, one that comes up is, Bill is the only gas setter who hasn't given Mark a dinosaur. Is that still true, or did that change in the last month? I'm not sure. And I'm always like, yeah, but why would I? This isn't genuinely monstrous Sudoku. I've got those two, Mark. Call me. Oh, better give Bill a ring. Oh, I'll do it later. It's way more fun for me to give Mark frankly unpronounceable dinosaurs to pronounce and to write frankly very cheeky stuff in the intros like Today's gas is just a little killer Sudoku. Just a whittle kiwa. It's a whittle cute little baby Sudoku. It's such a cutie pie. Mwahahaha! Uh, I think that is Bill laughing at having made me say silly things. I don't mind really. Normal Sudoku rules, it's better than when Philip asked me to rap. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid give the sum of digits along the indicated diagonal. So those add up to, oops, those add up to nine. Those add up to 21 and can include repeats. Um, the dinosaur is a hee hee hee, hue hue can, can outless. Yeah, that's cruel. Okay, those are the rules. Let's go back to the first puzzle and take them on one at a time. This is Neighbour Sums by Clover. I don't mind just spelling Clover. It's the same as another 250 million Americans, so that's all good. Okay, let's restart the clock and let's get cracking. So a 17 is 9 and 8, but a 16 needs a 9. So there we go. Then we can just run down this sequence if we can do our arithmetic. Um... 3 is 1 and 2, they share a 1 with 4, so now we can run down this sequence. We're going to get a lot of given digits here, if this works for every set. Maybe it doesn't. 9 and 8 there, so this is now 3 or 2, but it can't be 2, so it's 3. This is going to work for every set, and I can't see how there's going to be any shred of difficulty left in this puzzle. Ah, because it's not going to work for every set. 
Right, these are from one, two, three, four. That can't be three above and two below. So let's put in the possibilities here. Oh, this can't be six, so it's three or four, but it can't be three going down there, so it's four. So there is a little bit of um, look ahead required there. Now, of course, what could really ax this puzzle for me is if I make mistakes on these fill-ins. That is every possibility. Four and six have to be there in the box. Eight, four, six, five, seven. And this pair adds up to 15 without an eight, so it's six and nine. Then we run down this sequence. I mean, this is a lot of given digits to be starting having finished the, uh, the thematic stuff. And let's see how we get on. I mean, it should be fairly quick from here. He said hubristically. Uh, four and nine, yes and yes, that's a seven. Three eye wings in succession there. Then we get a five and a nine. That's five boxes complete already. That row needed to be finished off. Eight, five, six, I can do all of those. That is a two with a five at the bottom. Let's go laterally now, one, seven, two. That's a seven. Nine and eight here, down to the top of the grid, as it were. Ooh, that's not looking good. Two threes in the same row. Mark's messed it up. Ow. Okay, let's just carry on for the moment. What on earth have I done wrong now? Two threes here as well. This is not looking good now. Ah, this three is the wrong, is the rogue. That should, maybe I just mistyped a seven. There we go. Whew, that was scary. Cause that, yeah, once, once that three was looking wrong in every row, in the row and the box, and I should have noticed the column and I hadn't, then it was just a mistyped digit. That's not too bad. Two minutes 41, I have no doubt that'll be within the two hat time because it would be a very mean two hat time. Right, did I mention? that the hat times are one hat for a quick solve, two hats for a quicker solve, th uh, and di <laughs> three hats, and a dinosaur for a slower solve. This time, the two hat time was five and a half minutes, which is about the quickest that the gas puzzles give. So well done if you got that. Right, um, oh, why is all of these things open? Okay, let's have a go at this. Bill Murphy puzzle, same ghost every night. We will restart with single cell arrows can just be filled in. Then we've got a one, two pair there and a one on that arrow. Bill said this was harder than the norm. It doesn't look it yet. That's gonna have to be a three in the central box. That's gonna have to be a four. You can see what Bill's done with all... Ah, no, 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 no. I've miscounted there. That is a four or a five. There is a one in these cells and either a two or a three. Okay, so then we've got a bunch of nines on the circles. So this is where it gets harder. Four, one, two, nine, seven. One of these is a six. Gonna pencil mark that. One of these two is a five. Okay, where do we need to go? Let's look in this central box. Eight and six are a pair there. These include a seven. One of these is a three, can't use that. Seven, 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 nine, nine. That is where nine goes. Maybe I can do all the nines actually, because they can't be on these arrows, can they? Um, yeah, that's a nine. One of those two is a nine. One of those two is a nine. I can't do all the nines, but there is another one in that group. Now there's a pair of one, two there, six, nine, four. So that's three or eight. I saw that before, it didn't really help. Six, nine, four, one, two. One of these is a seven. Ooh, I can nearly rule out a two from being there. If there's a two there and a two there, then I could. Not quite. Right, there is seven, six, two, nine. There is a one in those cells. Now, that is the subject of a genuine X-wing between those pairs. So we can put a one in there. 
Um, and that doesn't help fix all the remaining ones. I've got another of those X-Wings in rows two and three, and another one in rows seven and eight. Um, yeah, this is a little bit stickier than usual, isn't it? Bill's absolutely right. He's a very good judge. Nine, eight, seven, one, seven, nine, eight. Whew, don't know what to do here. That is three, five, or eight as well. So is that. Um, no, seven. I, for some reason I thought seven had two possible cells here and it doesn't. So that's a two. That is going to fix quite a lot. One, two. That's going to fix all the ones in these little clusters. That makes those two twos. This one now is a three, so we get a four in the central box. This is a five, seven, nine triple. Uh, that was silly. I think I erased something I knew from an X-wing there, but never mind. That is three, five, or eight. Oh, it can't be three. Three is there in the box. Five, eight, one, two, three, seven, four is here in the row. We will fix that arrow right away. We put five there. 9853. So this is 4 or 6 by the column. This is 5 or 3 by the arrow. I, did, I thought that would be resolved. This is a 6, that's a 2, that's a 5. Okay, that resolves. This is a 4, that's a 5. That puts 5 here. 497152. We've got 3, 6, and 8 that this could be. So I think this must be a 3-6 arrow now. Oh, and there's only one way round for that to be. Okay, assuming my pencil marking is correct, which is not always a safe assumption, he says as he hammers in the wrong digit into various cells. Um, I'm on the right track now. 62175. That's a 4-9 pair. That is 8 and 3. And I know the order. I even typed them right, despite my finger trying not to. Nine six eight three. Those are a seven five pair. We've got three and four to go in the row. That's eight. That's five. Fixing eight five. Finishing the first three columns. Um, one and seven down at the bottom. That's going to finish the next two, next three columns. I believe. Maybe not the six eight pair actually in the middle. Everything else though. Six and eight here, that fixes the six, eight pair. Oh, they, uh, they were finished before, I just didn't spot it. Two, four, three and six here, and there we go. That's not too bad. Five minutes and seven seconds, a little bit crunchier than normal. The two hat time was eight and a half minutes, so thank you for your generosity, Bill. And again, good luck. Right, Botez Gambit by Philip, with his nonsensical chess-like intro. Let's get cracking. Queen's move on fives. So that's what we're looking at here. Good thing I just checked that again since it's not marked in the grid. Um, let's colour the fives so that we can sort of avoid the Queen's move. Six, three, seven, nine, eight. That may not be the quickest way to go, but it sure as heck is the safest way to go about solving this puzzle. In fact, I'm probably going to even green the other cells that these fives see. So let's do it. I'm going to do it. I know this is, it will regard, some people will regard this as utterly fatuously mechanical and uninteresting. But frankly, I think it's the safe play. So none of those can be fives by normal Sudoku rules. Then we've got queen rules as well which are ruling out a number of cells, but actually not as many as I'd expected. All of those are ruled out by queen rules. So, ah, and also obviously given digits that aren't fives are ruled out. So we get the five in row seven. We get the five in row two, the five in row thingy. We can cut, oh, that's on the queen's move. And then we have to put a five here. And one of, the, one of these cells must be, yes, that five's looking down at that cell. So we can put the last fives in there. I could color them all red for 
completionists and still have time to solve this puzzle. So 6 through 7, 9, 5, 8, we get a 4 in column 2 there, with a 1, 2 pair still to place. 9 in row 8 is there, then I can do 4 and 3. 4, 5, 9, 3, uh, let's look up at this column, 4, 8 and 7. Oh, I know where 4 goes, but not necessarily 7 and 8. 4 in row 2 as well. Then I can do 7 and 6 there. That fixes some things I was looking at. Uh, now, we've got a 4 to put in column 5. Then we've got 1, 2 and 6 to put in the same column. I can't do that. There's a 2, 5, 4, 9. Okay, there's another 4 to go in the grid, and there it is. That's a 2, 6 pair. This is 3, 8, 9 in some order. 4, 5, 9, 8, 1. So this is 2 or 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9. That's 7 or 8. That's 1, 2 or 8. Just checking down this middle column. 1, 2 or 8 there. So one of these is a 7. One of these is a 7. Hmm, what digit? Oh, 1 is in one of those two. No, that's not the digit I'm looking for. I don't know what the... Oh, there's a 2 in one of those, so that's not a 2. 7, 5, 9, 4, 2... Nine is definitely in one of those two. So it's placed over here. Then I can do the eight and three. Now, what does that do for me? The three goes there in column three. Now I can finish column three. That's going to be helpful. Yeah, now I've finished the final three columns completely. That's a two, one, eight central row finished. That's a seven. One and no, not one and two here. Two and six here. Can't do the six, seven at the top, but everything else is coming together now. We've got a two, six. That's become a one. Three, eight pair there. This is a known finisher for its row. Uh, seven and nine in these cells. Oh, yes, they are done by the given. For some reason, I still find givens harder to see than the others. That's 49517. I don't know, this doesn't obviously finish quickly here. 17425. Oh, that's become a. Yeah, okay, it does. It does if you actually spot what you're meant to be looking for. That's a naked 3. That must be 9. 8 there, 3 there. Right, just the top. Well, rows 1 and 3 to finish now. 7 and 2, 7 and 6, 8 and 6. There we go. 4 minutes 52. So we're flying through the first three today. 8 minutes was the two hat time. Well inside that, we will go on to these repeated neighbours, where the grey cells have to have two immediate neighbours, orthogonal neighbours, be the same as each other. OK, let's see how that goes. Uh, not a puzzle I remember ever doing or trying, although I must have done, I guess, given the timing. Um, this one. Those two can't be its repeating neighbour. It can't be eight, so it must be nine, and that must be a nine. That's a really weird way of looking at this, but that was useful. Let's try this one. Can't be those two. No, it's either 9 there or 4 here. That one's not so straightforward. Isn't that weird? Um, this one is, it is 2. Oh, start in box 1. It's a clover puzzle. This one, it must be a 1. The perimeter ones are the place to start. That It must be a 6. This one, it must be the 7 from the other box. OK, so those are all given digits. Then I can place a 7 there. This one now, we now know it is a 9 in that cell that's repeating. Now I can put 9 in there. Putting a number in a grey cell is of no real interest. It's no special number at all. It's just numbers beside grey cells that excite us today, um, which is strange. Actually, I should mark off the grey cells where I have found the repeating neighbour. Because again, putting the number in, you see, here's another one. 
it's got to be a 6 there. This is why I should mark off the grey cells that I have done this for. Oh, there's loads I haven't. Oh my goodness. And that one I've done, and that one. Okay, they're done. This one isn't. It must be that number repeating there, which is 2, because it sees all the other digits in each position. This one, it's that number repeating there and there. If you try all the other possibilities, you'll see they don't work. There I can't tell. It's either 1 or 6. This one, it's those two. And that's much more up for grabs. Could be 2, 3 or 7, as far as I can see. So now, and this one's done. This one, well, it's not done. They're going to be the same. Wow, more colour used in this than in almost any gas. That's a 6 by Sudoku. That is 5, that's 9. This one needs a repeat digit there, which can't be 9 or 4, and it is 3, so that's done. And this other internal one needs a 3 there. OK, so it's just those two left to do. I'm glad I did this colouring system. Really am. 1, 8... Um, yeah, the rest is just me noticing things with any degree of celerity. 6, 1, 5, 2. Feels like I can finish the middle three rows. And that stops. No, it doesn't stop there. There we go. I could. That has now become a 1 because it can't be a 6. That's a 7. So this one's done. This one is done as well because that's colour it because that is a seven. So that's all the clues, all the special clues done. Now we're just finishing off. Yeah, I mean, I don't, f in some ways I got to grips with that quickly, but I don't feel like I covered myself in glory thinking about it at all. There was, there was much more given than I realised. We finally get a three in the corner, proving its position. Five and three there, that is a two. Eight and nine must be doable, two and three. Then we go up to this box where we've got eight, one, four, nine, four, nine, eight. There we go, oh, it doesn't like it. That's, it doesn't like it because of the two nines here. So that's another typo. There we go, four minutes and seven seconds. Don't think I'd have quite been under four minutes. The six and a half minutes is the gas time, so not too bad. Another decent performance, and our neighbours have been repeated. Okay, finally, Alphabet City by Bill. Let's get rid of the tools, okay. And this is a little, oh, a widow kiwa. Let's get cracking. Okay, three there is a one and a two. I can put them in. 22 without a 6 is 985. Let's leave the one that goes through different boxes and try this one. 9 and 8, like that. Then 8 without a 4, very symmetrical. 1, 2, 5, triple. Ooh, 11 is not big, and that's got to be at least a 3. In fact, if it was a 6, that would break this. So it is a 3. These add up to 4. Neither can be a three, so that's a pair of twos. That gives us the two in box one. You have to remember the pairs possibility because of repeated digits on the diagonal. Now, this is probably doable in much the same way. It doesn't look it to me. I'm not, I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to put in a six, seven pair up there. That adds up to nine without a two, so that's one, three, five. Now, this needs an odd digit which has got to be 7. Uh, I've got 6, 8, 9 to place in the other cells in the box. In they go. 9, 8 is looking at that cell, so the 5, 8, 9 triple down there is unwound. 1 is looking at that one and 3 at that. And now I've got a 1, 5 pair. Right, I've done a lot of these clues. I haven't done that 21. Oh, I haven't done these at all. I was about to say it can't be two, three, four, but I think that's wrong. Um, oh, well, that's because I'm looking at this as though it's the nine clue. It's not. It's the 21 clue. It can't have an eight. So it is nine, seven, five. 
This is the nine clue, and now that has to be six, three, given the high digits that are gone in the box. Then we can place four, one, two, that fixes five and one, so it does help to read the clues in the right diagonal, it turns out. Who knew? Who knew that could help? Um, three or seven, four or seven, one of those digits. Right, I'm going to have to tackle this 21, I suppose. Now I'm not. I'm going to do Sudoku. Eight, one, two, three, four, nine, two, three, eight, six. I mean, this might be a broken read as a strategy. Yeah, it does. Oh, six is looking into the corner. There we go. Seven fixes this box. Uh, that didn't fix this box, but seven fixed this box as well. That puts a three in the corner. And that does fix all the corner boxes completely. Three, seven, eight, nine, and six. One, four, five here. Now, I will, I will, I promise, go back and look at that little killer clue in a moment when I've marked up all the possibilities on my way around the grid to it. Um, we're getting there now. Two, seven, three here. That's a seven and a two, three. Five, six, nine here. We can do all of them, hurrah. Actually, I might look across at that first. One, four, eight there. So we got a five, five, that's a five. We got a six, that's a six. Then that's four or eight. These others are from two, four, eight. Right, now I'm finally going to look at this 21. 13, and we need another eight. So that can't be eight. This is seven or four, must be a seven. That's a one. Now that has read across. The four reads back back across. Seven is done there. I haven't seen that. This is a four. That's an eight. That's a four now. Three and two are done. Eight and two. That's the central box as well. Good. That's become a nine. Uh, three and eight are done at the top. That's become a four. So not much to do at the top. One, six, three. Down at the bottom, two and eight. Four, five, nine, I think. Five, four, nine, like that. One and five. There we go. Four minutes twenty. The hat, the two hat time was seven minutes, and those are our five gas puzzles for today. Quite, quite a solid romp through the gas today. Alphabet City being a bit ABC for us. Well done. If you got good times on those puzzles, thank you for watching me if that's what you did. Um, I do encourage you to play along with the gas puzzles, almost whatever your level of experience, because you will get some of the joy of variant Sudoku from them. Thank you as always for watching us on the channel. We are very grateful for your presence and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.